Okay, uh, let us proceed uh, with part three of lecture 16. So we are going to have uh, uh, one example, okay, uh, uh, in which we are given uh, a transfer function of HS, uh, given by K, a constant, S plus Z1 divided by S uh, times S plus P1. Okay, so please ignore this uh, terms yeah it's nothing there is no effect of this uh, terms here yeah right so uh, again uh, if we base on this hs uh, there are four terms to be considered we have a constant of k we have a zero at z1 we have a real pole at p1 and we have pole at origin yeah okay so as what i've mentioned just now uh, we have to take uh, we have to, to use three steps uh, in order to uh, plot the boat diagram for the HS. The first uh, step is to write the HS in a correct form. Okay, so what I did here is, I uh, this is the first step now, where we have the K, we have to take out the Z1. So we have to write this as 1 plus S over Z1. So S still there, and we have to take out the P1. Yeah, so we're going to have P1, 1 plus S over P1. So end up, we are going to have a new constant, which is K of Z1 divided by P1. Okay, and the rest will follow, 1 plus S over Z1, S and 1 plus S over P1. Okay, this is the first step, uh, which is to write the HS of HJ omega in a correct form, yeah? Okay. Let us proceed with the second step, uh, which is to actually uh, sketch uh, the individual plot for the, both the amplitude and the phase. So we start with the uh, amplitude plot first. So what we I did here is uh, we give a value for the previous uh, constant. Yeah, so we have k z1 over p1 is equals to set of 10. Z1 is 0 0.1 radian per second and p1 is 5 radian per second so these are the given value for the constant for the zeros of z1 and for the pole at p1 yeah okay uh, so uh, looking back at the previous equation so uh, we are going to have four different plots a constant a, re a real zero pole at origin and the real pole at p1 yeah okay so let's sketch the individual plot of this so what we have here, uh, the, the dotted line, the orange dotted line here is the uh, sketch for 20 log of set of 10. So 20 log of set of 10 will give us 10 dB. Yeah, 10 dB. Okay, so what we did here is we write all of these in terms of the dB scale. Yeah, dB scale. So we are supposed to get uh, all of these shall be now considered to be 20 log of this term plus 20 log of this minus 20 log of s minus 20 log of whole value yeah uh, okay so back to this we are going to have a uh, constant of 10 db uh, next one is for the uh, a real zero at 0 0.1 yeah we have a zeros of 0 0.1 so as what we have uh, learned in a previous slide, yeah, for 0 0.1, uh, for a frequency lower than 0 0.1, the amplitude is 0 dB. And for higher frequency, we are going to have a slope of positive 20 dB per decade. Yeah, so we're going to have 0 dB. And for higher frequencies value, is it bigger than 0 0.1, there should be a slope of positive 20 dB per decade. Uh, okay, so the pink dotted lines here is uh, a plot for real zero. Okay, plot for real zero. Uh, the third one is the plot for pole at origin. Yeah, pole at origin. So for the pole at origin, as what we have learned in the previous slide, there should be a slope of negative 20 dB per decade. And the slope need to pass through the frequency of one. So the blue dotted line here is the plot for real, sorry, for the pole at the origin, passing through the frequency of one here. 
Okay, and because there is two decades here, yeah, uh, 0 0.01 to 1 frequency, there are two decades. So that to maintain the slope of negative 20 dB per decade, the blue dotted line need to pass through 40 dB such that the slope of this line will be negative 20 dB per decade. Yeah, because uh, this is 40 dB the uh, decade is 2 so 40 divided by 2 will be negative 20 db per decade okay so the blue dotted line is a, a pole a plot for the pole at origin and finally is for the plot of real pole at 5 so for the real pole at 5 we are going to have 0 db up to 5 and uh, after that for a bigger value of frequencies bigger than 5 we are going to have a slope of negative 20 dB per decade. So the green dotted line yeah, uh, is this plot for the real pole at 5. Okay, so all of these are based on the individual plot that we have learned from the previous slides. Yeah? So our task now is to actually combine them. So what should be the pattern of your amplitude plot? So to get the amplitude plot for this, Okay, so you have to start from uh, omega equal to 0 0.01. So looking at this, we can say that there is a slope here of negative 20 dB per decade uh, starts at 40 dB. But looking at this, there is a constant of 10 dB. So the effect of this constant is basically it will actually... Uh, increase the amplitude so somehow it is look like the amplitude the amplitude shifting yeah the amplitude shifting we are shifting the amplitude of uh, this slope to a 50 yeah to a 50 so that's why we're going to start the slope at 50 db because of the effect of this 10 db increment so at 50 db we're going to have a slope of negative 20 db per decade which is which which follows the blue line sketch yeah so that should be the line, a, a solid line, a black solid line is the actual plot. So 20 dB per decade up to 0 0.1. So why it stop at 0 0.1? Because at 0 0.1, we notice that there are two slopes. The slopes are blue, which is negative 20 dB per decade. And the second slope is the pink color, which is positive 20 dB per decade. So at 0 0.1, starting at 0 0.1, there are two plots or there are two slopes the blue and the pink and both are having different sign negative 20 positive 20 so the net value of the slope will be zero yeah because when we add them together the note the net slope will be zero so that is why we are going to have a slope of zero db per decade and it will continue as long as yeah as long as the the two slopes there remains uh, the pattern yeah so you can we see that, that, that these two slopes will continue from 0 0.1 to 5. Yeah, 0 0.1 to 5. And at 5, we can now see that, okay, so at 5, there are three slopes now. We are the slope of the pink color of positive 20, the slope of the green color, which is negative 20 dB per decade, and the slope of uh, blue color of negative 20 dB per decade. So when we add these three slopes together, we are going to have a net slope of negative 20 dB per decade. That is why from 5 onwards, the slope will be now becomes negative 20 dB per decade. So this is the addition of the individual plots that lead to the formation of this final solid line. Yeah? Okay. Hopefully you are clear about this. So let's have a look at the uh, phase plot. Yeah. So for the phase plot, uh, we have uh, four uh, plots, individual plot just now, a constant. So for a constant, we know that the plot will be zero degrees constant. Uh, for a uh, real zeros, yeah, real zeros, we are going to have uh, the pink plot yeah the pink plot where we have at 0 0.1 there should be 45 degrees angle one decade smaller which is 0 0.01 will be zero degrees 
and one decade higher which is at one the phase will be positive 90 degrees so we can connect these three points here at zero 45 degrees and 90 degrees when we connect this line we are going to have a slope of 45 degrees per decade positive yeah okay this is the pink color is the plot for the phase angle for the uh, real zeros at 0 0.1 Okay, and for the pole at origin, so we have learned for the pole at origin, the phase is negative 90 degrees, a constant value, yeah? So the orange color, the orange color dotted line is the plot for the phase, uh, the plot for the phase for the real, for, for the pole at origin, yeah? Pole at origin. Okay, and then uh, for the real pole at five, real pole at five, we can, we can say that uh, for a um, smaller frequency, yeah, we know that at five, yeah, at five, the angle will be negative 45 degrees, yeah, at five, angle will be negative 45 degrees. One decade smaller, which is at 0 0.5, the angle is zero, and one decade higher, which is at 50, the angle is negative 90 degrees, yeah. This is for the pole, real pole at five, yeah. So when we connect this line, 0 0.5, we'll be having zero degrees. 5 will be having 45 degrees, negative 45 degrees, and 50 will be negative 90 degrees. When we connect this line, you're going to have a slope for a phase angle plot for a real pole at 5. Okay, so we're going, we are now going to uh, sum these uh, plots together. Okay, so we know that the starting point of this uh, phase plot should be at negative 90 degrees because uh, somehow it is similar to the concept of amplitude shifting. Uh, yeah, we have a constant of negative 90 degrees, so we're going to stop, start here, yeah, negative 90. So we start at negative 90, yeah, we're going to have a constant value up to 0 0.01. So at 0 0.01 onwards, we're going to have a slope, which follows the slope of this pink color of 45 degrees per decade, and it will stop at 0 0.5 because at 0 0.05, we're going to have two slopes, the pink color and the green color. The pink color is 45 degrees positive per decade, and green color is negative 45 degrees per decade. So when we add this together, we are going to have a net slope of zero degrees per decade. So that's why we're going to have a constant. And this will end at one, because at one, we can say that there should be only a single slope of negative 45 degrees per decade because the pink color uh, has now become a constant okay so from one onwards yeah from the frequency of one onwards the uh, phase plot will be a slope we'll be having a slope of negative 45 degrees per decade until it reach 50 and afterwards we are going to have a constant of negative 90 degrees Okay, so the solid black line here is the plot for the uh, face, yeah, plot for the face. Okay, so I hope you understand about this issue. So in case if you have a, uh, a you have any questions related to the amplitude plot and the face plot for this example, don't hesitate, please contact me. Okay, so these are the exercises uh, that the answers for these are given at the back of this, yeah, so you can just, uh, 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 test this on your own, yeah. You, you because I, I provide to you the part the slide in PowerPoint. So, in PowerPoint, I did it one by one, yeah, in terms of the plotting so that you're going to understand this better. Okay, so let's have a look at this exercise. There are four exercises given here. So, I have uh, written the HS, all of them in the correct form, yeah. For, for instance, for the first case here, 10S over S plus 1 over S plus 100. So what I did is that I have uh, 10s and I take out 100. So we're going to have 100 here and 1 plus s and 1 plus s over 100. So end up we're going to have 0 0.1 s over 1 plus s, 1 plus s over 100. So for this example, so there are four terms, uh, a constant of 0 0.1, zeros at origin, pole at 1, pole at 100. The same things happen for the second example. Okay, the same things apply. I write this in the correct form. I take I take 10. Yeah, I take 100 outside. So we have 10 over 100. So 1 plus S, S 1 plus 100. And so we're going to have 0 0.1, 1 plus S, S 1 plus S over 100. So 
So based on this HS, there are four terms, a constant of 0 0.1, 0 set 1, pole at origin, pole at 100. And the, the rest follows, yeah? So you can have a look at the rest of this question. There are two more questions here, right? So uh, the answer for these exercises have been given in the next slides, yeah? You can try to understand how I plot uh, these uh, uh, transfer functions, okay? All right, uh, so I think uh, that's all for the lecture 16. I hope you understand well on the boat diagram. Yeah, because this understanding on the boat diagram is very important uh, for us to proceed with lecture 17 and lecture 18 after this, yeah? Okay, so first of all, you need to understand lecture 16 on how to sketch the boat plot or how to uh, draw the boat plot, okay? So once you have understand this boat diagram, uh, then only we can proceed with lecture 17 and lecture 18, yeah? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so good to meet you again, 1917. Thank you very much. Huh?